Don't say die Cause you'll fake it Don't hide the tears Cause I know you're breaking All this love Feels like race day, feels like race day. All right, let's go YouTube. Oh man, Jason, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Let's roll, baby. Another tear just burst from the side of your eye. And I know what you're saying, and I know it's a fucking lie. All this world, damn lie. All right, ladies and gentlemen, taking the carbon rockets out for today's uh, morning run. And yes, uh, we're doing something new. We've never done this before on this channel. And uh, so it's exciting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go find Jason. He's just over there in the coffee shop. I do believe we're in downtown Denver. And yeah, it's just like, you just gotta keep pushing forward. When you, you know, when there's like question marks in your mind and when there's just uncertainty about the future, uh, whether it's with work or life or running, and this is a, this is what we're doing today is just like one little step in the right direction for trying new things. So Jason, thank you for the idea. All right, let's go get him. Come on. Good to meet you. You too, buddy. Yeah, man. Oh, man. All right, everybody. Welcome uh, to downtown Denver. Jason. All right. Jason and I actually just met in REI. Yep, yep. Got some coffee. And Jason uh, is a viewer. The, Jason is a viewer of the vlog. How did you find the YouTube channel? What was the, uh, yeah, well, how did it come, did you come about it? Your, um, one of your videos popped up in my feed, the uh, ultra, ultra runner mile time uh, time trial without training yeah popped up and I was like I gotta watch it we yeah. gotta check it out that's awesome you know yeah let's talk a little bit about your journey with gaining weight and before before Jason was a runner what was your what, what was your story with that well uh, I was an EMT and uh, my wife was a teacher and when we had uh, kids after 10 years of marriage we decided that uh, she would be the one to work because EMTs don't make that much. Sure, sure. <laughs> and uh, so I just became a stay-at-home dad. Yeah. And it uh, the weight just slowly crept on. Yeah. You know, and, and you don't even realize it. It's it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> you know, all of a sudden you can't hold your your infant son, and you're like, wait a minute, you know, and or bend over to tie your shoes, really. And that was. And that was a wake-up call for you, big time. When you realized you like were struggling to pick up your son. Yeah, yeah, because um, trying to hold him in my belly would get in the way. You know what I mean? <laughs> and he would—he was almost too heavy even as an infant. I, you know, yeah. not really get out of breath, but you know what I mean. It's not. Yeah. You know, I don't have the stamina for it. Sure. And now, what year was that? Um, 2016? 16-ish. 2016? Yeah, 16, 17-ish. So Jason, how, what was your highest weight? Um, I, I actually got up to about 270. Two, yeah. 270. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the wake-up call happened, and what yep. was the, like, yeah. My wife decided to, she wanted to run the Boulder Boulder okay. that year, and I was jealous. You know, I wanted to run it with her. Yeah. And I sat there on the computer, following her and and I actually kind of I cried you know because I I knew I couldn't do it and so that afternoon when she came home I went out and jogged yeah that that first that first day and ever since then I hadn't stopped running and you went from your house how far did you go okay so from my house from my house I just kind of went out and back 
But then I decided I should probably make it a little harder for myself to to turn around. Yeah. So I decided to find a trail and I went to the trail and I went a half a mile out. I mean, I was dying, I could barely do it. And half a mile back, and I I think I would run 20 seconds and walk for two minutes. Yeah. And I just kept this progression until eventually I was running more than walking. Yeah. And so you were at 270. Mm -hmm. And then how long did it take to come down? So where tell everyone where you're at now. Listen, listen to this, everybody. I'm at 168 right now. 168 yeah. over 100 pounds. That's amazing. It's, Jeez. It's, it's it's it's. I'm very fortunate. Yeah. You know, some people don't have the courage or whatever to, to lose that weight but yeah you got to do it yeah you know what I mean and, and running was one reason but my family and my kids yep you know I didn't want to I didn't want to be a type 2 diabetic when they're ready to go out and play and I'm just you know yep laid up and so what is your 5k PR uh, 27 16 I believe okay 27 16 so Jason pitched the idea to come down here today, and I think it's a great idea. We're gonna, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get a new PR here in Denver. Does that sound good? Sounds perfect. Okay, so we're gonna run a, a 5K uh, just here on the Platte River Trail. And Jason, just like, it's just amazing, you Thank know, you. like what you were able to do. And um, you saw the pictures come up on your screen. Like it was no joke. No, it was. It was. I was right on the verge of being a diabetic. Yeah, no know? joke. And now you're here and you love running. I love it. Well, enough talking, man. It's kind of, let's do, does that sound good? Yeah, let's get Let's rock it. and roll. All right, let's get our shoes on here. Woo! There's 1.5, we'll go a little further. You got this. It's a great pace. Good job, good job. Okay. There we go. That's 1.55. And if we need to tack on at the end, we can. Good work. Two miles, right there. One mile to go. We got this. We got this. Pump those arms. We got this. There you go. There you go. Good work. Here we go. Here we go. Right up, right up and down. Right up and down. There you go. There you go. Right up and down. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Boom. 3.12. There it is. I got a good time on my watch. Oh baby. Oh baby. Walk it out. There it is. You're hot. Dude. Did you actually Stop. did you feel anything on that run or was it pretty pretty good for you? Pretty easy. No, I was I was <coughs> It was good. It was good. <laughs> I was breathing pretty good. He was breathing. We did it, man. Actually, not going to roll this right now, but I do want Jason to ask the question of the day. And uh, good work again. It's awesome. Ins thank you, Seth. Inspiration and um, good work, man. Yeah, thank you so the much. The first, the first of many runs. And yes, 
If you live in Denver, we'll be we'll be doing a run club soon. I'll keep bothering him. I know. I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm yeah. thinking actually is a three year, basically the three year anniversary of the daily vlog. Uh, I think that'll be potentially the the launch date. So Ooh. just needed to get the t-shirts done and. At least we got the Strava going. Right, right. The more global running is is blowing up, so it's fun. All right. Woo! Boom. Love. Pacing Jason to a PR. Was that fun or what, you two? Oh my goodness. We've never done that before on this channel. Congrats, Jason. You crushed it. Oh, we were working, baby. We were working out there. All right. I'm off. Uh, actually, I'm off to more filming. That's what I'm doing today. So come along for the journey. Oh, I'm just amped up. I don't know about you, but I am amped up. Jason, you crushed it. All right. I've re relocated to a, a new location in Denver and uh, taken the carbon rockets and yes, the 4%s out for their final test. This will be the second, this, that'll be the second video publishing today, 3 p.m. Mountain Time on the channel. But uh, I thought this was kind of cool. Stop and film this for you guys. And yes, Jason, you had wings today. You had wings today. And yes, Jason is the key word. You better believe it. Jason is the key word. Hit it up down in the comments. Congrats again. All right, let's roll. We've We've got an interesting situation, YouTube family. The boys are off on an adventure, and True Love and I, and hon, you don't even know what I did this morning. I know, I don't. Just say, congratulations, Jason. Congratulations, Jason. Ah, uh, you'll, you'll, you might just have to see oh, tomorrow. I'll watch it. I'll show you tomorrow. So, mm. look what we got. True oh Love gosh. picked this up. We're on a little two hour, three hour vacation. Mm -hmm. Huh? Now let's, uh -huh. let's pull it out okay. here. Okay. Uh -huh. Whoa, that's what I appreciate. Lots of sauces. Yes, she mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. There it is. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Every now and then, every now and then, we got to splurge a little bit. We got to splurge a little bit when yes. Michael's sleeping, the boys are on an adventure. Yes. We worked hard this morning. Yeah, you did. Pace and Jason. Ooh. So, all right, here we go. Oh my my, butter my bread, butter my Please. bread. Did, did did Michael reject his nap? Yes, yes. he yes he did. Yes he did. Yes he did. Where'd you find, buddy? Oh, baby, what a day, what a day. We got baby inside playing with a balloon, a little bit of sushi. I don't know if you like sushi, but I love sushi. There's nothing like some good sushi. And yes, we did something new today. Pretty neat to take the carbon rockets out with Jason. By the way, Jason was in the Vimero 14s. I don't know if you noticed that. And Jason, just so you know, everyone, and some of you have told me the same thing on Strava, that you have pain in your feet as well because of the Vimero 14s. Well, look up on YouTube the Lydiard lacing method. I haven't tried it yet, but supposedly that helps relieve some of the tension that can happen in the Vimero 14s. At least it's helping Jason, so I'm gonna try it soon. Anyway, that's the shoe that Jason was in today. I was in the Carbon Rockets, and yes, that was the first time we've ever done that on this YouTube channel where I was, you know, invited, thank you for the invitation, Jason, to go pace someone to a PR time at any distance. So, I don't know. I'm, I think we're onto something. If I mean, I can't fly across the country or the world right now, but I think at least locally, but I think we're onto something. If there is a goal that you might have and you want a little bit of, and Jason, hopefully I didn't push it too hard, but I think we did well together. I was just encouraging him as much as I could along the way. And sure enough, like I was glancing down at my watch, not sure if you saw that in the video, but I was just glancing like, okay, we got this. It's gonna be close, but we got this. Let's do this. And sure enough, we kicked it there at the end. And so anyway, Congrats again, Jason. That was fun. And um, I think it's the first of many. Let's keep the ball rolling with new ideas. You know what I mean? I think here on YouTube, it's really important to, I don't know if the word innovate is the right word, but just to be 
uh, open and creative to pushing ourselves, whether obviously in training, but also in creativity. And that's what I'm all about in the YouTube universe. So thanks again. Oh yeah, and by the way, let's cut back to the question of the day. Does Jason have a question of the day for everyone out there on the interwebs? I think, um, yeah, uh, my question of the day would be, how often do you attempt PRs? Mm. How often, and, and if you don't get that PR, what do you do to get that PR next time? Nice, nice, I like that. I like that a lot. And there you have it. I love it, Jason. I think it's a great question of the day, talking about PRs. How often do you shoot for them? Let us know down in the comments. And maybe you have a PR goal coming up. Maybe I can help. Who knows? Let me know if you do. If you need some help, I'm game. Maybe if it fits in the schedule. But listen, I'm all. I'm all about just helping people reach goals. And for me personally, I've never raced a marathon. That's my number one PR goal for 2019. Actually, I did tell Jason something today. I don't know, should I tell you guys? Why not, why not? I would love to set, I don't even know if it's in the radar possible. I actually think it might be because I was so injured in college, I was unable to drop my 5K PR very low. Like I think I could have approached the 14 minute mark, but it's, it's 1446. Should we go for it in 2019? I don't know. I ran 1530-ish at C. Anyway, that would be an amazing thing for me to shoot for in addition to the Marath. Who knows? Anyway, let us know down in the comments. We love you guys. Thank you for being here. Jason, great job once again. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Oh, yeah. Video number two, posting in about 10 hours. See you tomorrow.